How about how about me fighting Gary Spike Sullivan on this card? Yeah. How about that? That'd be awesome. Man. That'd be great, right? So let's see what happens. What's up, bro? How you been, man? How you been? Chilling, man. Chilling, bro. I'm in shape, man. I'm in the gym, bro. You know what I'm saying? I love to get on this car. Like I said, man. Okay. Gary Gary Spike Solomon, what's up? What do you think? They told me about Gary Spike like two fights ago. I didn't I never heard of the man. <laughs> but I just <laughs> But look, he has a great mustache. Okay. But uh I seen him fight and he beat a, a green guy on HBO. He looked good, he did what he was supposed to do. But let's see if he can do that against me on this card. Do you think uh, Canelo training at high elevation is getting this ready? No, this is boxing. All that shit is mental. <laughs> okay. Okay, you told me a few years This back. is boxing, man. He doesn't need high elevation. The, the the science behind that, and you can look it up with doctors, is you're supposed to sleep in high elevation and train on in uh, sea level. So they actually guys are they do it backwards. Okay, if you told me a few years back then Canelo does a lot of things that Mayweather does as, as you're hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abel saying that he came in a Mexican and left him like Oh yeah, he's a great he's a great boxer. He's a great boxer. Can look a box? He's good. I think he needs to apply pressure on Triple G and close the gap. I think he'll be more successful. A lot of fighters have been telling me that. First time they were like, "Oh, it's an even fight." I think everybody I talked to seriously from fighters a, to trainers are picking Canelo. Why do you think that is? Going? I, I think because I think they they see that uh, Triple G is slightly slowing down. Here's mm. Triple G right behind you. I say hello, man. I see what's going on. What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Good. Good luck, man. You look good in the first one. I think you win him this time. What do you think, man? I'd like to. Nice guy. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. It's funny I, when I was going to uh, Mexico City. What's up, Tom? Good, good. Good to see you, Gabe. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, to see you. good. good. Everything. Great, man. This is one of the warriors who wasn't afraid to fight Triple G. Oh, yeah, yeah. When nobody wanted to fight Triple G, Gabe actually moved up. He was the number one contender at junior middleweight. He's the one who had the heart, the championship spirit to move up and to put on a great performance. That's why people love him, Tom. He's a warrior. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. You know, he was just telling us why Triple G is a nice guy. Oh, he's a good guy. He's a good guy, man. Why? All right, Tom, I'm going. No, but it's a good fight, man. I think he slightly could get the edge, but I think Canelo, I think Canelo has to back Triple G up so to be more successful. He's finally slowing down. You think he's, he's about to be 36? So I think he's slowing down a bit, but you know Canelo does fade at the end. So Triple G, if he applies that pressure, I can see him. I can see him, you know, you know, causing problems for Canelo. But it's 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 still an even type of it's still an even match fight. So it's I mean, hard. anything can happen in this fight. You're a, you're a fighter. You're a fighter. What is it about being, you know, having not getting tired in fights? Is it genetic? Is, can you do something to help that? Hey, out? man, can you tell a guitar player, an opera singer, that you know that you're done? Nah, they no. they're an opera yeah, singer, they a guitar player for life. Face. Yeah, but when you you're a fighter, you're a fighter for life. Is this in, is in your DNA? Bro, talk to yeah. us about uh, Triple G's power. No, he's he's a good he's a good puncher, man. Really good puncher. Is it, is it, can you do punches or the value? He throws a lot. No, I just think it's the accuracy. Good accuracy. Is Canelo going to step on his own feet, trying to establish some respect and hang in there in the pocket 